good morning happy monday morning y'all it's may i have just a little more jesus monday yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am it is may i have just a little more jesus monday i'm talking kind of low because gaming is sleeping and um I got up this morning. Corey was in the bed with us. And um, his um, we had to give him several treatments this weekend for that asthma. And some days are good to where he don't have to have any. Some days you have to give him several. And um, so he woke up this morning complaining about his side hurt, like where his ribs are. So, me not speculating and not knowing whether he playing or not, you know. Because kids do get to where they know how to fake stuff, okay. But I ain't the one to make that judgment. That judgment call like that. I'm going to take him and we're going to find out what's going on. So, not only is he not feeling good, Mia decides to not tell me that she's been had a headache and a sore throat. Um, it took Jalen to tell me and I asked her why she didn't say anything she said cause she thought it was nothing so my baby been feeling the credit buddy since I think Friday if not before that so I put in a call to the doctor to see can I get both of them in this morning if not we're going to the emergency room not playing with the cooties. Um, with Corey, I don't play with his lungs. I don't know what's going on, but with that, I don't play with all of that. With Mia, um, some of y'all might not know, but when Mia gets a fever, it does numb on her. She has, she starts to hallucinate when she gets a fever. So, yeah. Um, if she got something going on, I'm not trying to let it get to the point where you know, she could get a fever. I mean, I know she could get a fever at any point, but I like to, if I can give her some medicine to help her out, I want to do that. If medicine is not the key, then I ain't trying to do that. I'm going to do what I can and then go on from there. So, um, I got my phone right here waiting to hear from them. She told me she had one 10 o'clock appointment, but she didn't have two. So, she had to call over to the doctor's office to see if they could work both of them in. If not, I have no problem at all. Taking them to the emergency room. I am not a hypochondriac, but I'm I'm here to tell y'all, speculating about somebody, what's going on in somebody's body, is not my job. Mm -mm. I had my own bouts with that years ago, because Galen is not a, a hospital type of person, but I remember with me, um... I thought I had a sore throat too. My throat was hurting. I had a sore throat. I had a fever. My head was hurting. I had body aches. And I think that's what she said. But when I went to the hospital and they did x-rays, they found out I had pneumonia. And I'm like, what? Pneumonia? I never thought it was that. So I don't play. You could think it's one thing and it'd be something else. And I, I, you know, I ain't trying to claim illnesses on myself and my children but y'all know stuff come up and um I'm not Jesus <laughs> he know but I know one thing because of him we got a remedy for it all okay we got a remedy for it all so I thought I'd come while I'm getting ready just chat with y'all this morning. 
yesterday I had to I was cleaning and cooking yesterday and it just I don't know it just seemed like the kitchen wouldn't stay clean so yesterday what did we cook I made chicken casserole we had leftover greens that I took out the freezer and heated those up so chicken casserole the greens gave them fried Corey some fried chicken drumsticks and I made rice cornbread and beef short ribs I know that's a lot but Galen he what did he eat he ate baked and baked chicken he ate baked chicken he fried Corey the the um, drumsticks cuz you know that's what he likes to eat um he only did a few of those like four or five for this just in case, you know, he can have some for later on that day. Um, he didn't want any casserole because of the dairy products and stuff in it. He's trying to lose his weight. But the casserole was for anybody that wanted it. <clears throat> and they tore it up. Um, and the beef short ribs were for me. I didn't want the cheese, too much of the cheese, but guess what? I did end up eating a scoop of casserole. I just didn't want to not have a another something I could eat. That casserole was so good, y'all. It was. So we'll have leftovers today as far as... Um, We have leftovers. I have plenty of rice. I have, and even with Galen, um, I may just even have to, I think I'm gonna bake him some fish so the kids can eat the leftovers. The, the tilapia, the whole tilapia. I don't know if I showed y'all that. Yes, I did. <clears throat> so I bake him some fish and then kids eat leftovers and we go from there and leave it at that I don't never get my brows right y'all I don't they don't like it's a lump somewhere. A bump somewhere. A skip somewhere. tail on this one too long but yeah <clears throat> I enjoyed my visit with Tiana and her husband it just wasn't long enough we we sat we talked we laughed we talked about so much stuff y'all and to have a conversation with another couple and <laughs> for me to know that I ain't the only one that's jacked up you know what I mean? Not that they got a problem or anything, but like stuff that I might do. Like Galen was talking about how, um, like sometimes we have a disagreement and I, you know, I open up a can and I be like, Galen, well, you did this and you did that. Ooh, child, when I tell you, we have a reasoning for everything. <laughs> A reason for everything, not reasoning. A reason for everything. <clears throat> well, I do. I'm going to go on and say that. But it was good hearing her testimony of what she's gone through. And I, I'm telling you, 
you don't know, you don't know who you're helping by sharing how God brought you through whatever. You don't know. You really don't. At least I don't. Until y'all say something. And then it be, it be, it's still kind of, not that I don't believe you, but I'll be like, wow. You know? It's true that, <laughs> you know, good things come out of, it's a blessing and everything. What I'm using is the crayon case setting powder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we got that. I'm not doing my eyes or nothing like that. We're just going with just a little coverage on his face. Just a little coverage. So, you guys, my verse of the day is... James 4 and 7, submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Sometimes it's hard to do, but it's all possible, y'all. It is. So let's listen. James 4, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? One second, grab the wrong bottle. You grab the empty bottle. I don't know who keep pulling my bathroom scale from behind this and put it behind this door. I move it. And they put it where they want it to go. <laughs> you desire but do not have. So you kill. You covet. But you cannot get what you want. So you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. That you may spend what you get on your pleasures. You adulterous people. Don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you think scripture says without reason that he jealously longs for the spirit he has caused to dwell in us? But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against a brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you, who are you to judge your neighbor? Now listen, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why, you do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. James 5. James 4. Listen at that again. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire but do not have. So you kill. 
You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you think scripture says without reason that he jealously longs for the spirit he has caused to dwell in us? But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against a brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you, who are you to judge your neighbor? Now listen, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why, you do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. James 5 Now listen, you rich people. Weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth is rotted, and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves. Hey. Hey. He's sweet. Yeah. Okay. Take a minute and, um, is Darian Wolf in here? Take a minute and Darian Wolf. Okay. Sorry about that. I know I heard somebody. In the day of slaughter, you have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains. You too, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters. Sorry about that, y'all. That's how my household runs. They do. That's how my household runs. Somebody's always coming in and out. I'm trying to see how many more days I'm going to listen to James for again today. It was so much in that that just stood out to me. 
um, basically submitting yourself to God, remembering to do that, learning how to do that. And um, yeah, hold on. I got the camera. You need to come in this hour. My face. I put it like um. I said I wasn't doing my eyes, but I'm going to do a little something with the same brush. I am going to brush that in, y'all. So, don't think I'm tripping. the same brush I like this fluffy brush I do mm. my same colors I always use a little bit of orange a little bit of brown put the brown then the orange on top or I sometimes start with the orange peach coral color shirt. I'm going to use the edge. Put a little highlight on the hair. I don't know if y'all can hear the shower come on in the bathroom. Let's see. I'm going to bend my brush just a little bit. See, can I make that a little dark right there on the end? Scarrows, no lashes, scarrows. I get in the mood where I want to put on lashes sometimes. I don't. I be like, man, forget it. Sometimes my eyes water. I need to find on. Is this? I know they say it's waterproof mascara, but is it really and truly waterproof? Do they stay on? Do it stay on? Like the do they have waterproof glue? That's what I mean. I always end up getting glue. I mean, there's mascara on my lid. Trying to make it look like I got a little bit. Just a little bit. You know what? For some reason. For some reason. It's not looking right to me, y'all. Like that, that color I had. I think I should 
should have used the flesh coat. I'm not liking it. I look ashy. look dry so guess what yeah I like it don't want to come off now when I wanted to stay on there it don't want to stay bought these wipes from Dollar Tree. Mm -mm, honey. I don't like the way they smell. Mm -mm. But I'm going to use them because they in here right now. These right here. Mm -mm. I don't like it. So get some of that off. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. This is what this is what we's gonna do. sort of blend that in a little bit. So what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to put a lot of setting powder on. I'm not going to put the concealer. Nope. Maybe I'm having some skin issues. I'm going to just get here and I'm going to brush like that. That's better. Out on my brush. That's better. I'm going to take my Y'all ever see, uh, sneeze so hard, you seeing stars? That's me right now. <laughs> okay. That's the best it's gonna get. This might be one of those days that I shouldn't have worn makeup. But you see these people ain't called me back yet. 
guess what? I know the Lord said be anxious for nothing. Thank you, Lord. Let's see what time it is. It's nine o'clock. And the appointment is at 10. They need to at least give you enough time to get there. Right? This is by NYX. Pump it up lip plumper. They color there. It tingles. I don't know what's in it. Make your lip tingle. Let it tingles. My third hole been bothering me on my ear. So I won't put one up there. I need to try to clean it out. I need to put that in the washing machine. This get hooked together. Um, let's see. Hold on, y'all. Snake piece of that cake. I made the uh, the hummingbird cake. Ooh, and I didn't show you. I recorded myself doing it, but I didn't come and let y'all see a close up look because it was my first time making it. So I had to follow the instructions. Okay. Another t-shirt and leggings day, as usual. T-shirt and leggings. Run them. I just don't want them. I know. I think this is. Let me look at my calendar. School will be out really soon. Ooh, y'all hear that? That was Corey Coffin. And I just gave him a treatment before I turned the camera on. I noticed since um, his tubes came out of his ears that he's been having more congestion. So I think the stuff is just draining down in his throat. I like these little three, these little necklaces you get. There we go. Now I got a whole mess in here. Air 
care of where I go. Get my footsies together, meaning some lotion, a little cream. Can't do one without the other. Well, that's me. A little get happy. Tell them where he came from. Oh, I have not finished my bathroom project. Um, I can't tell you when I'm gonna do it. I've gotten some of the stuff. What happened to my curtain? Hmm. getting snagged on something. I gotta get I wanna find me another comforter set, y'all. I wanna do purple, like a deep eggplant purple. I talked to Gabriel and he was like, maybe that won't be so bad. No, he was like, well, man, don't do a whole lot of purple. So if I can find one, we in the house. We's in the house. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all down a little bit. So I won't drop ya. Call me back in. I'm trying to be patient. You know, you don't want to be aggravating when you're waiting on them to call you. You don't want to be a butt wad, you know. But the clinic been open. With, been open. They opened at eight, and I called them at eight. She said they had one appointment, one opening. I got a whole mess right here, y'all. It is not cute. No, a whole entire mess. Stuff. I don't know why I can't keep this closet clean. I just throw stuff in here. When I'm doing my hair, I pull out stuff. See all of that? Hair weave pieces. Mm-hmm. All kind of stuff. Ooh, something's stopping my draw from going in. I got clothes that I need to put up in a pile right here. On top of my, you know, when me and Galen went for my birthday to stay overnight I had extra clothes in that bag I left it um, packed <laughs> I left it packed so when I get ready to skate again I might need to just put a few extra things in there you know makeup, toothpaste, toothbrush that kind of stuff other than that I'm ready to go ready to go how you feel this morning yeah yeah today I need um, your information 
Yeah, I got your phone right here. Okay. Just hold on. I get. I'm waiting on the doctor to call me for Jay for not Jayla for Mia and Corey. If not, I'm taking them to the, um, the emergency room. Mia say she can't bend her head. The back of her head hurting with her throat. She say she hurt all over. And you know, she don't complain often. She been up for the longest. And then I said, Mia, why you didn't come tell me you was up? Why you, well, you were asleep. I said, I told you yesterday, if you hurt and come and tell me, she won't come and tell me. I had him to sleep on the couch last night. She just lay there. <clears throat> I've been giving her the um, Tylenol. Look up here on top of your box. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Remember the verse of the day is James chapter 4. Okay. That's the, that's the chapter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Read James chapter 4. And um, leave down below what's your favorite scripture. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. And happy birthday, Jamie. Bye, guys.